Okay, good morning, guys. Uh, I'm so happy that at least some of you survived uh, last night at the Slindio Street. When I left at about one o'clock, it was just booming, and I think it was ten times more people than in this concert uh, as such. So I'm Shurnas Legetskas, and I'm the founder of Tech City Vilnius Initiative. It's a very early stage in initiative, and today it's uh, almost its first public appearance. So you guys, the few of you, uh, are the ones to witness that. So just to manage your expectations, I'm not going to talk about the initiative and about, about initiative structure and what exactly do we do. I'd rather try to show what the problems that we are addressing and trying to solve here. So let's just uh, kick off. So all of you know, as, 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 as Oman has said, uh, Silicon Valley and uh, Tech City London. I'm not going to talk about it. Everyone knows that. But I'm just going to go through a few points that I want to iterate and see how it all formed. So Silicon Valley, back in the 1940s and 1950s, with the core of uh, Stanford University in the, in, in, in the very center of everything, and then a uh, few engineering companies, famous engineering companies like HP, uh, uh, Bell Labs, semiconductor companies, and Xerox uh, uh, all started. Then capital started to flow in, and the first and almost the most famous venture capital company, as Kleiner Perkins, established uh, and helped to boom the entrepreneurship in the area. And uh, then the first success story of Apple, uh, Apple's IPO back in the 1980s, $1.3 billion uh, was a big thing. And uh, that was the secret formula of the Silicon Valley. I'm just going to reiterate, it's university, big companies, capital, success story. And this is how it all boomed. Then we have a bit similar, but uh, at the same time, a different story that we had in, uh, in London. About six years ago, 15 creative agencies and startups decided to move their offices to the East London. And the reason for that was that uh, East London back then was a dodgy area. So the rent prices were really, really, really cheap. So it was 15 companies established uh, their offices, started booming, started the entrepreneurship thing, and then big companies saw that something is going on here and established their technology centers and, 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 and contributed to developing the area. To name a few, Google, Facebook, Barclays, Cisco, Amazon were well, one of those uh, who did that. Then we, they had a lot of talent, and now they have 1,300 successful startups uh, working there. So as we see, their story is a bit different. They started with small companies, then big companies, and then capital talent, and then uh, the success stories. So as we see, all these stories are similar, but unique. So when building and thinking to build Tech City Vilnius, we need to think from the same perspective. We need to copy some of the and take the best know-how, but we need to remember what's unique about Vilnius and how we want to uh, uh, do it. OK. If looking at the entrepreneurial hub as such, what is that? Just a few elements. So it's an ecosystem of, uh, and consists of venture capital, accelerator, co-working spaces, talents, events, government institutions, startups, and big companies, uh, or, or other words, corporates. So let's use it as a checklist and see what do we have in Vilnius. This is what I've done about four months ago before starting Tech City Vilnius Initiative. We do have venture capital. We do have accelerators. We do have talent and co-working spaces. We do have events. We have government institutions that help us. We have a lot of startups. Oops. We have a lot of startups, and we have uh, corporates. So it seems we have all the required components of actually having a successful uh, tech city Vilnius, but it's not. So what is the missing secret sauce here? And uh, I hear people talk and say a few things. That obviously we need more money, we need more events, we need more accelerators, more co-working spaces, and as always everyone says we need better government. But uh, I think there's another thing what's missing here, and it's collaboration. The biggest thing what I notice working in medium companies, in large companies, now in startups, is collaboration. It's sharing the vision, working together, sharing ideas, sharing the same vision. And this is what is missing. And I'm going to uh, talk about it later. Another secret sauce and, and a part of that is talent. I'm going to talk it uh, uh, in a few seconds as well. So what happened? After doing this checklist and seeing what's missing, I just said, we have everything we need. We just need to sit down all together and discuss what, we need, what do we need to do next. I invited 
10 big companies. I invited some startups and startup highway accelerator. I invited Invest Lithuania and Enterprise Lithuania to sit down around one table and see what we can do all together. And uh, we all agreed, we shared the same problems, the same issues, we all agreed that we want to be part of it. And we came up with this vision statement that what we want to do in Tech City Vilnius is to build an ecosystem where IT companies, startups, and government would work together on the same goal and create value. Yes, it is a bit of a cliche statement. I agree. We need to crystallize that a bit better. But this is what we have, and this is what drives us the founders for now. Let's talk about collaboration. And I'm going to uh, pick up on a certain collaboration, especially between large companies and startups. I know not all of this is going to be true, and you have some different examples, but this is what I noticed when I was working in corporate, but I was uh, very interested in startups. What is this? This is how a corporate guy sees a startupper. An average startup, it's a geeky guy who is sitting in his garage developing his code with almost no real connection to the real world. What is that? This is how a startup thinks about a corporate person. It's a boring guy in a suit sitting in his office waiting to go home on time or even earlier than, than that. And this is not true. This is so fundamentally wrong. And, and what's wrong about it is how can we collaborate with each other if we have this ill perception about each other. And the, the, to my surprise, when I had these companies to sit down together, and uh, especially the big companies, I said, OK, guys, we need to start working with, with startups more and support them and, 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 and get engaged and everything. And to my surprise, they didn't even know what a startup is. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious here. I mean, they said, so what is the startup? I know it's a big buzzword. Everyone speaks about it. But what, does, what, what value does it bring to us? What value does it bring to the country? Uh, on the other hand, the same. When you talk with, you, when you talk with the startups and, and, and you try to engage them in working with the big corporations more, they say what they can give us. These, uh, these are the boring guys in their suits in their ivory towers. So. The main thing of Tech City Vilnius is to show where they can collaborate and how can they engage with each other. We need to think that startups can benefit from corporates a lot, and they can benefit by using companies' international channels, big capital, big human capital. Imagine we have 15,000 professional IT people in Lithuania or even in Vilnius. Imagine if we take this expertise and knowledge and, and give it to startups. I bet we're going to have another Gejar or another Vinted here. So, and on the other hand, Talking about uh, corporates and what can they learn from startups. Agility, creativity, motivation, innovation. These are the things that are getting lost in a complex and large organizational structures. So this is going to be one of the most uh, and biggest focus of the Tech City Vilnius initiative. Let's just talk about talent now. So talent is you guys. It's you that are going to build a better tomorrow here. And I'm so happy to live in a country where the average profile of a talent is uh, a young high person with a higher education, very good stand of English, and very good working skills. And this is good. What I'm also happy is that IT market is booming. And when I mean IT market, I mean big companies as well as startups and small companies and everything. Another thing is I'm happy that our government set up a goal to become an IT capital of the Nordics by 2020. And we are well on our path. Everything seems to be perfect, isn't it? But there's one thing, 14,000. There's, a, there's a one thing that's missing, it's 14,000. What, what is it, guys? Can we think about it? Is that an average salary of IT specialists in Lithuania? Maybe. Is it a projected audience of a login by 2020? I wish both of these. 14,000 is the shortage of IT specialists we're going to have in the next two years. And I'm going to repeat that. It's 14,000 people that are going to be short, and our education system cannot provide to us. This is scary stuff. And we can forget about the booming IT market. We can forget about the IT center of the Nordics. And these are the issues we need to address. So what's the problem? So what's the problem with the, with the talent? We, we looked at the universities. 
it seems universities are doing fine. A lot of companies are going, having their programs, they help uh, uh, make the programs of the universities. They have a lot of different student academies and everything, that's fine. But what's scary is that IT admission numbers to universities are descending for the last five years. I mean, the IT market is booming. The, the salaries are sky high. Everyone talks about IT, about startups and everything, but nobody wants to do it. It just doesn't make any sense, doesn't it? So then we looked at schools. And we decided that let's just skip the uh, 11 to 12 graders because usually they know what they're going to do for the rest of their lives, or at least what they're going to study. And uh, let's look at the uh, younger people. Let's look at the teenagers that are making up their mind what they're going to do next. And uh, what happens is we try to see why they, they don't want to choose IT. And there are a few reasons we identified. One is parents' advice. They still think that conventional professions as doctor, lawyer, accountant are the most prestigious and well-paid jobs in, in, in Lithuania. And they don't know what, what, what IT is. Maybe IT is not cool enough. I don't know. Maybe our teenagers like to play with technology, with gadgets and computers, but they, they don't understand the, the, the creative side of actually creating it. And I think the most important thing is that IT and technology in general is not hot in Lithuania. And when I mean hot is, if we talk about Silicon Valley, to be part of a, to be a startup or be, to work in technology or be an engineer or be a developer or be a data science, they are new rock stars of tomorrow. And this is what we need to get here in Lithuania. When we have that, then every single teenager, he gonna wanna be uh, in IT. When we talk about Tech City Vilnius, I bet most of you think about a physical place in Vilnius. And that's true. This is what we get with the association with Silicon Valley and the Santa Clara Valley near San Francisco or the uh, East London uh, uh, part. And uh, it is true. But for now, we, also, we only reside for our meetings and few initiatives in a startup highway working center in Rupert. But it's just, uh, it's just for now. What happens next, I don't know. The question is, which part of Vilnius or if Vilnius is going to be Tech City Vilnius? And I just wanted to maybe to ask you advice. Where do you think we should make Tech City Vilnius in Lithuania? In Vilnius, I'm sorry. Is it going to be in Novininke? Is it going to be Žirmūnai? Or is it going to be city center? And it's wrong. And what's wrong is worth make. This is the biggest mistake everyone makes. We had the good examples in Lithuania when we created, uh, we built uh, expensive buildings and we called them entrepreneurial hubs or valleys or whatever. And we thought everyone's going to go there, build a community, and going to produce really, really good results. It didn't work. That was a, a big mistake we all learned. So this is exactly the same thing. We're not going to make. It has to come naturally. And what I mean is, you guys, you're going to finish my presentation. You're going to go and check a few other presentations. And then you're going to go grab your coffee. And you're going to go to city for your next meeting. Some of you will go to Žirmūnai. Some of you will go to city center. Or some of you will go to Župis. And this is where you're going to build your communities. This is where you're going to build the critical mass. And this is where it, the next tech city Vilnius is going to be built. And all the companies and government only going to help to boost it. So this this is how, how, how I see it. Let's just talk uh, a little bit of a theory. There is a very famous uh, urban sociologist called Richard Florida and his famous book, uh, The Rise of the Creative Class. He, looks at, he looked at America and how the biggest creative class hubs like Silicon Valley, Austin, Boston, New York uh, formed. And he has this theory that he calls three T's. And the components of the three T's are these. First of all, it's talent. We already discussed that. The most important thing of everything is to have highly talented, educated part of our population that are going to build everything. Then we have tolerance. We need a diverse community. We need different people from different backgrounds, from different cultures to clash together and, 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 and make some creative ideas. The last but not least, technology. We need a technological infrastructure to actually boost the entrepreneurial culture. Do we have all of these? Can we tick all of these boxes? When we do, we'll know where the Tech City Vilnius will. And I don't know. Maybe you guys do. Very shortly. I'm not going to bore you to death. Uh, but let's just recap and summarize what we have. 
So we have everything to succeed, do we? We need to collaborate more, but can we? We need to make IT sexy or hot, can we? And we will have a very successful and booming tech city Vilnius. And I hope, guys, you are with me. I'm really happy that I'm not the only one in this challenging and long journey. And I really would like to thank the founders of Tech City Vilnius. Uh, these are very well-known brands. And I hope next year I'm going to be on this stage, or maybe they're going to promote me to Pacero or to Delphi stage. I'm going to have more logos on this uh, slide. I, 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 I really wish so. So guys, thanks a lot for listening to me. And uh, if you have any suggestions, feedback, or comments, come and talk to me. If you're shy of a type, just drop me an email, and I'll, I'll make sure it's, it's going to be heard with all these companies. OK, thank you.